Okay, so triangular systems are great, but uh, sadly, not every system is triangular. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to look at how we can convert to a triangular system. This is a method called row reduction, and it's extremely important to solving x equals b. The idea is we're going to take a system of the form x equals b and convert it into one augmented matrix by writing the matrix A over on the, the left-hand side, then putting in a dashed line, and then including the vector B off to the right. And this one augmented matrix encodes the entire system. The big idea is that we can do things to this augmented matrix that don't change the set of solutions to the original system AX equals B. For example, if we switch two rows in the augmented matrix, that corresponds to just writing the equations in a different order. That doesn't change anything. But look at what has happened to that augmented matrix. It is now upper triangular. That is going to be very helpful to us. Switching rows is not the only thing that you could do. Uh, notice that the, the third equation in the system has all coefficients even. So we could divide both sides of the equation by 2. That corresponds to multiplying that third row by 1 half. So doing things to an augmented matrix while keeping the solutions the same is critical. There are three such operations called row operations that are going to be important to us. The first one is the one that we've seen already. This is switching of two rows. So I have an augmented matrix. I switch two rows. I'm going to write that as, say, uh, R2, uh, double arrow, R5. That means you switch rows 2 and 5. That keeps the solutions the same. OK, that's great. That one we've seen. The second one we've also seen, you can rescale a row. So I can take, say, the second row and multiply by 1 half. You can do that multiplication by any number you want, as long as it's not 0. And you're going to keep the solution set to that system the same. OK, so we've got what? We've got switching. We've got rescaling. There's one more operation that we have to do. This is the hard one. This is a combination where you add a multiple of one row to another row. In this case, I'm taking row 2, and I'm replacing it with row 2 minus twice row 1. And you can do this with any two rows you want and with any scalar multiple uh, adding or taking away from. This is going to be very useful to us in reducing an augmented matrix to an upper triangular form while keeping the solutions the same. So we've got three operations. We've got switching, rescaling, and combining. And these are what we're going to use in order to reduce.